The world is a family, say the ancient Indian text, and the oceans make it so. The seas that wash ashore this land also touch several other lands and people. They are our kindred spirits. In a gesture that symbolizes the country's policy of friendship and respect towards brother nations, India invited navies from around the world to participate in the nation's first ever international fleet review. 24 warships from 19 foreign navies sailed in for the spectacular event, which was a resounding success. An eloquent image of a sailboat traced back to the Harappan civilization is a testament to India's age-old sea links with other civilizations across the world. The interaction was prompted by trade, but left behind endearing cultural ties and naval traditions. The fighting force of the Indian Navy salutes the President. Aina Sukanya and the President's entourage sailed past five columns of vessels berthed on either side. The mammoth scale of the review was a demonstration of perfect planning and faultless execution. The fleet review concluded with an aerial display by whirlybirds, formation flying by supersonic jets, and the swoosh of the reconnaissance planes as they bid adieu with a customary fly past at sea. Back on land, there were moments of merriment and exchanges to be treasured. The Indian contingent impressively anchored the musical evening. On view was a bounty of naval bands from various nations. Stepping in perfect tandem to the beat of music. Witnessed by an august gathering, each country proffered its best. Resplendent with the illumination were scores of warships in the harbour. The spick and span turnout that characterised IFR 2001 was picture perfect. Smile please. The governor of Maharashtra mingled with the foreign guests hosting high tea on the lawns of the historic Raj Bhavan. The undaunting spirit of adventure is synonymous with our Navy SEALs. Daredevilry went on show next. Search and rescue operations. Naval commandos simulating real-life tactical maneuvers.